No ale tam do kamery. Tak, tak. Damianek, powiedz coś do babci Celi. Patrzę tutaj i to oczy wszystko i z boku i z bliz. Zobaczcie jaki mały kowboj, zobaczcie. Oj, nie dobójcie, nie dobójcie. Chcę samobójstwo popełnić. Babcia zobaczył teraz, co ty byś jej chciał powiedzieć. Znaczy, co byś powiedział babci, no? Co? co Damianku. No ale skurz się tam. Ale tu do kamery. Skurz się tam. Tak jest. 
Ha? Ale nie wiesz do buzi. Chodź no, chowasz się za tatę, no co ty taki kryjaczek mały. Dobrze, dobrze. Taki co na ucho? A co chcesz na ucho powiedzieć? Ale głośno na ucho, no. Ale głośno. A Boże, ja wezmę to Paulinkę ze sobą tam. Damianek, tak? Damianek. Wezmę Paulinkę ze sobą, dobrze? Ja się to przekręciłam. Co? Hmm. Ty, jaka przyszła młodzież Polski? Damianek, no to ja dasz mnie Paulinkę ze sobą wziąć? Co? Powiedz. Damianek. Ja chyba Anetkę wezmę. Co wolisz, żeby Anetkę wziąć czy Paulinkę? Damianku. 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 Kogo wolisz dać? Paulinkę czy Anetkę? Ja znam Paulinkę. Paulinko, zrób koci, koci. Lala, koci, koci. No, zrób koci, koci. Paulinko. No zrób koci, koci. Tak ładnie robisz koci, koci. O, sam Ale ona sama ładnie robi koci, koci. Ale nie szerpiej. Ona zrobi sama koci, koci. Sama Paulinko, zrób. Odstąp Paulinkę. 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 Odstąp Ale a, a, a tutaj mój brat z dziećmi swoimi. A nie wlatają. Panią, bo, bo ja ci zajdę, to już koniec. Zdziękuję, jak to nie pasuje z tym dzieciakiem? Chodź, Ale Co, szanowni, proszę, już tak jak ważne. Tak, siadaj, Zosiu. Kto mnie bił? Zobaczę, się Już pielgrzymka się skończyła, jedziemy na wakacje. Sobota, 28 kwietnia, piękna pogoda, 85 stopni. Gryl stoi, ja z garażu to filmuję. Gryl stoi, zaraz pójdę do stejki, tam Krysia. O, 
Das ist schnell. Zaraz będzie stojki rzucała na to. Tu właśnie jak z garażu wyjdę z tyłem, to właśnie przejdę ją, do nie przejdę. Ok, tutaj jest tu go, gościnny dom. Jak ktoś chce przyjechać, mieć prywatność. Z wybitym oknem przez Ewę. Właśnie tutaj to okno jest. O, już drugie okno bije Ewa. 28 kwietnia, coś pięknego. Na drugiej stronie właśnie są campgrounds. To tutaj właśnie chłopy już te trailery pozabierali. Stąd, bo tu rzeka. To właśnie na zimę ściągają tutaj wyżej. A teraz przeciągają wszystko Ed tam niżej, tam właśnie te trailery stoją. Tam już ktoś sobie robi na łódkę. To jest ta rzeka. To jest robione pod zachód słońca, dlatego właśnie Elizabeth odrabia sobie lekcję pod parasolo. Nasi sąsiedzi, John Sirway, ma swoją fabrykę mebli. To jego dom. Tu mieszka tylko na lato, a na zimę jedzie do Floryda. Tam dalej, ale to nie widać, to jest gospodarz, to ma sylosy. O, tu będzie, będzie gdzieś widać sylosy. Za Janem gdzieś tam. Tak, to tu właśnie psy losy farmerskie. A tu jest właśnie nasz dom. To są okna na dachu. Tak wyglądają właśnie okna na dachu. Tu właśnie, jak ten trailer, co ten prywatny domek, tam z tyłu head jest taki garaż, tam stoi maszyna i traktor. A tu właśnie w wyjściu od garażu, Krysia Kucharzy. Tam chyba daleko właśnie Marek na traktorze. You have to warm up. Marek właśnie. Może rowerze, si? Za domowy bolt. Łódka, którą żeśmy kupili, to już jest z garażu robione. To właśnie stoi na garażu. To jest właśnie te inboard, outboard. 19 stóp. To jest dość duża. Tutaj stoi nasz nowy wen. Ta chałupa, co ja mówię. Tam stoi. To jest właśnie tam w głębi na naszym driveway w jeździe stoi ten Ford Toro Station Wagon. A tam dalej ten Jan właśnie, co mieszka tylko tutaj na lato, a na zimę jedzie do Floryda. Tu właśnie przechodzę. To właśnie jest Toros. To jest właśnie nasz stary wen. Narzędzia trzymam w nim, bo w razie w apartamentach coś wysiądzie to tam mam wszystkie narzędzia w nim. Z 
jest ruby. Tu właśnie elektryczny przewód w środku w tym aucie. Nasza Ewcza właśnie jeździ we wjeździe do naszego wjazdu do garaży. Ona jedzie tam właśnie na naszym wjeździe aż do głównej ulicy. A główna ulica tam jest właśnie. I tu właśnie stoi łódka przy tej głównej ulicy. To jest nasza łódka, która służyła nam lat 5. A, bo, a teraz sprzedałem je właśnie za 650 dolarów. A się chłop cieszy z sąsiad. Tam główna droga idzie. Sąsiedzi. Tam właśnie Marek. Marek. Traktorem będzie startował, zaraz i pojedziemy na naszą sąsiednią parcelę. Ja, yeah, you can start if you want. was his elder brother Edmund who was the young Carol's closest companion. For Carol, Edmund, without any doubt, was a model. He was the one who showed him how to make use of his time so as to achieve as much as possible in life. Ambition, a powerful drive, an inner discipline and thirst for knowledge I remember when we all went to the playing field, normally we would run about until we were exhausted, no moderation at all, and only when we couldn't run any more would we go home exhausted to study. But Carol was different from the rest of us. After about half an hour, more or less, uh, when he felt that he was physically tired and had, as it were, charged up the batteries, and he was ready for mental exercise, he would say goodbye and go home to do what was to be done, that is, to study. And so when I came back from the playing fields later than him, 
I would go to him to copy out the Latin homework that he had already done. When Carol was 13, his brother Edmund, who by now was a young doctor, died in an epidemic of scarlet fever. Carol and his father were left alone. A few days after the conclave, the solemn inauguration ceremony. As the new pope accepts the allegiance of his cardinals, they might have reflected on the one quality Karol Wojtyła shared with the very first pope, St. Peter. He had never intended to be a priest in the first place. Discovered on a visit to the school in Vadovica. There was a very telling meeting between them. During Archbishop Sapieha's visit, Carol made a speech on behalf of the whole school. The speech must have greatly impressed the Archbishop of Krakow because afterwards, he turned to Dr. Zacha, our prefect, who later became the priest here, and said to him, where is that student going after finishing school? As I said, we were still doing our exams. Well, the prefect said, I am not yet sure, Your Excellency. Literature at the Jagiellonian University. Almost immediately, he became involved in student drama as actor, writer, and director. He was still planning a theatrical career. His grace and his peace are turning the parents of division and making all things one in him. The story of Wojtyła's election to the papacy starts at the death of Paul VI two months before. Paul VI, Papa Montini, had been a long time dying. There had been much consideration of candidates for the papacy. Popes are elected in total secrecy by the hundred or so cardinals beyond the locked doors of the Sistine within the conclave of cardinals who felt that Paul VI had already surrendered too much to modernity. Their preferred candidate was the 72-year-old Archbishop of Genoa, Giuseppe Siri, who had been the principal opponent to Montini in the conclave of 1963. Those who, despite Paul VI's death, wished to continue his work, clustered around the figure of his previous Under Secretary of State, Cardinal Benelli, a pragmatic liberal with experience of manipulating Vatican bureaucracy. Around him, it seems, a loose coalition of cardinals formed and selected a liberal candidate. Cardinal Wojtyła arrived at the conclave with no feeling that he himself might soon become a candidate. It may be dangerous to feel that. It's better, it's best that in the moment, but when it, uh, it comes, <laughs> maybe dangerous to feel that. Of course, before the, uh, in the second part of the pontificate of Paul VI, on the game uh, to speak about different candidates, but not so much uh, <laughs> about my, my person. When he was going to the conclave after the death of Paul VI, he had absolutely no thought that he would ever be elected Pope. I remember that after several days I said to him, 
Listen, old man, have you brought a return ticket to Warsaw or just a single ticket from Warsaw to Rome? He replied, of course I'd bought a return ticket. Why shouldn't I have? So I said, well, you talk so much about a priest's duty to live a simple life, not to spend money on luxuries. So why did you buy a return ticket to Warsaw? He said, what are you getting at? Are you trying to make an idiot out of me? And I said, what I'm getting at is that you are going to be elected Pope and the ticket will be wasted. Oh, Mitek, said he, get your head tested. The only form of communication between the cardinals in Conclave and the crowd in St. Peter's is the colour of the smoke from burnt ballot papers emerging from the roof of the Sistine Chapel. Apparently, the Liberal coalition candidate had as many votes as Siri on the first ballot, but those cardinals not privy to the coalition's conversations soon ascended the Liberal bandwagon. No one expected an early result, so when grey smoke emerged, there was some confusion. Only white smoke indicates the election of a new pope. What colour was this? Only when the balcony doors opened did the world discover that the liberal candidate, Albino Luciani, the Patriarch of Venice, had been chosen as the new pope, John Paul I. And so, when it came to the conclave, we know that the smiling pope was elected, I went to fetch Carol with a few priests. He was leaving last with Cardinal Wyszynski. He pointed his finger at me and said, what have you got to say for yourself now? While John Paul I accepted the accolades of the crowd, the man who would be John Paul II returned to Krakow. Within a year of Carol starting his university studies, Hitler had attacked Poland and set in motion the Second World War. The Krakow Underground Theatre was started in this very apartment. It had already begun at the end of 1939, at the beginning of the German occupation. And the first one, because later on there were many theatrical groups, but probably the very first one was created by Karol Wojtyła, Tadeusz Kwiatkowski, Danuta Michalowska, and me. Danuta Michalowska is now rector of the Theatrical Institute in Krakow. We began to meet here regularly. And this is where practically all our rehearsals were held. This is where we had our long discussions about our artistic dreams. Well, perhaps they were not that long as the curfew was in force, so we had to leave in time. Well, Wojtyła was from the start of our acquaintance a man like the rest of us. 